Are you eating my bacon? That's for BLTs later. We'll have to cook some more. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Hey guys, I am gonna show you the easiest way to cook bacon. No mess, super simple, and watch to the end of the video because the final tip is the best of all. But I'm gonna run outside really quick, do a few things I need to do, some watering in the garden and a few things like that, and then we'll come back in the kitchen and we'll get going today. See you in a little bit. just came outside to do a few little things and I noticed Alan started the irrigation and I love irrigation day. I'll show you, it's just barely starting to come out of our white pipe. There you go. Just barely starting to hit our land. Pretty soon you look down this white pipe right here and you'll see tons of water shooting out of those little gaps little openings and this will be covered I can't wait I love irrigation days it's just beautiful well let's go check out our garden check out some animals do a few things that I need to do and then let's get in the kitchen and bake that bacon I got the water turned on on our little garden Everything looks beautiful on the farm this morning. Just a great day. Hey babies, how are you today? Hi kids. Boys are over there working on Blake's truck. Oh, hey, Rooster. I was hearing you a little bit ago. Roosters. Such a beautiful day. But things are being watered. Let's get back in the kitchen and then I'm gonna come out the rest of the day and enjoy the beautiful day on the farm. I just wanted to show you the irrigation real quick, how far it's gotten in only about five minutes. I think the sound of water is peaceful. friends, Vicki back in the kitchen. I am so excited today. I get to show you how we cook bacon on the farm. And we love bacon, but I absolutely hate the mess. I hate the splatter of the oil. I have family members that like it crispy, not so crispy. So it's hard to cook it just right on the stove. But I have found a way that is mess free, splatter free. I can cook some pieces crispy, some less crispy, and we love it. I can't wait to share it with you. But before I get started, I have a mess in the kitchen to clean up. I have dishes in the sink, and I'm gonna get that done and be back in just a little bit, and we'll get started showing you how to cook bacon.
could really clean the kitchen that fast because as I watched the video, I got it done in like 30 seconds, which it really took me a little bit longer, but the kitchen's all clean, dishes are done. And so let's get started. Let's cook some bacon. So what do you think aluminum foil, bacon, and a pan has to do with cooking bacon? Let me show you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the bacon in the oven. And it's literally my favorite way to cook bacon. So what you need to do is just take some aluminum foil. I pull it out a little bit longer than the pan. Break it off. And you need two of those just like that. They don't have to be the exact same size, but they do need to be longer than your cookie sheet. And what we're gonna do is I just lay them flat on top of each other. And on one end, right here, I'm gonna seal that end off. I'm gonna roll it several times so it seals that end just like that. So then when I open it up, it's one large piece. I'm gonna place that in my cookie sheet and I just place the edge down just like that. And I bring the sides up. So there is my bacon pan, just like that. I have my bacon here, I dump it in. And then I just start lining the pan with bacon. If I have a lot of bacon, I will actually overlap it just slightly so I can get enough bacon in my pan. If I don't, I'll keep it separate like that. But today, since we're making BLTs for the family for lunch, I am going to have a lot of bacon. So we will overlap just a little bit. Comment below what your family's favorite recipes with bacon are. Ours is literally BLTs or just bacon in the morning with eggs but I would love to hear what you guys enjoy doing with bacon. I can put a few pieces on the top. I can even overlap it there if I need to. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Enjoy my hands. So the key is, is how you cook it in the oven. So I don't even have my oven preset. What I'm gonna do is actually put this in the oven in a cold oven. And then I'm gonna turn the oven on to 425 degrees. Now, I don't normally time myself. Today I am gonna time, time it so I can tell you at the end about how long it takes. So I'll let you know, because I really am not sure. I usually just watch it. And once some of the pieces are to a level of crispness that my kids like it, which isn't very crisp, I'll pull it out and take those off. And then my husband, like it, my husband and I like it crispier. So I put it back in the oven and let it go a little bit longer. So we're gonna let those cook and I will show you what it looks like as we progress. While we wait for that bacon to cook, I wanna show you what my kids surprised me with yesterday for Mother's Day. I was so excited. Here's our front yard. You don't see that much because we're usually in the backyard where all our farm animals and garden is. But I wanted to show you the front yard and this is what I came home to. It looks so nice. They hauled up some petrified wood that we have. Got that area planted all pretty with some flowers. And then over here as well. It looks so great. 
And then they got my planters in front of our garage planted. So I was super excited about that. Right over there. It is a beautiful morning and it just feels so good to be outside. But let's go check the bacon. It should be, it's, it shouldn't be almost done, but it should be starting to really get cooking. It's been probably about 15 minutes now. I'll check the timer and we'll go see what it looks like. So I actually got stuck on the phone and so I didn't get to show you at the 15 minute mark, but it's been 28 minutes and we're gonna see what it looks like. And I bet it is almost done. So let's take a look here. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna actually pull some right now because that is even a little crispier than my kids like it because I got carried away on a phone call. But then I'm gonna look at it and I might put it back in a little bit longer for my husband and I. My advice is to be really careful when you pull it out because there is a lot of oil in the pan. That's what it looks like. Oh, you know what? As I look closer, that is just perfect for my kids. So I'm going to get a plate. And yeah, I better shut the other door. I'll lose my heat. Mm, and I'm going to pull some of these beacons some of this bacon just like that. And I love it because it lays so flat and it is so easy. All the mess is right here in this pan. Okay, so the rest is gonna go back in the oven for probably just three or four minutes. That's gonna give it enough to crisp it a little bit more for Alan and I, and then we will make some BLTs. I'll check the, the clock on my phone and I'll tell you exactly how long this took in just a minute. Total. So I pulled the first batch of bacon out at about 28 minutes. I let this go for about five or six more minutes, and I think it'll be just the right Christmas that we really like. There you go. Turn off the oven, and I'll pull those off onto the napkin as well. If you like these videos, we would love it if you would hit subscribe and the little notification bell so you see when we post videos. We try to post three times a week and we love to make new friends and share with our farm friends that we have. So please like and subscribe. Become our friends on the farm. I usually dab the bacon a little bit. Let it sit there, but there you go. There is our bacon for BLTs for lunch. And it smells so good, I cannot wait to eat it. I think the coolest thing, though, that I'm gonna show you is at the end of this video. So hold on, because you don't wanna miss this tip with this bacon. I've gotta run outside. I was just giving, sorry, I was just given a hummingbird feeder, and I am so excited to go hang it. Then I'm going to let this oil cool for a minute and I'm going to go hang my hummingbird feeder and I will be right back to show you the final tip because you don't want to miss it. But this bacon is so easy, so delicious, you're going to have to give it a try. So hold on for that final tip. Do I dare? Ooh, I'm doing better dumping it, kind of. I know you might have red hands. I don't even know what. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for the hummingbird feeder. I love it. You're welcome. Happy Mother's Day tomorrow. Thank you. It has a flat bottom. It doesn't. We just dumped it all over the counter. We made a huge mess. And the floor and my cupboards. That's okay. Anyways, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. We hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day. So I'm a little shorter than my husband, so he's going to hang it for me. Awesome. Right here on the front porch, right by where the flowers are that I just showed you that my kids helped to do. Hopefully we get to show you some little hummingbirds that come visit us. Are you eating my bacon? That's for BLTs later. We'll have to cook some more. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So this is my hey absolutely favorite part of cooking this bacon in the oven with this technique. And it's so, so cool, I think. So I have the grease in my aluminum foil. I've let it cool for a little bit. It's still kind of warm, but, but I can touch the sides. All